left here. Oh, what the f was that? What is up fam, my name is Omar. Welcome to another adventure. This adventure tonight is gonna be very different than all the other adventures, any adventure that I've ever done on this channel. Now I have shared with you a couple of times this app that I've been helping develop in beta mode, it's called Intentions. And tonight, for the very first time, we get to try the Intentions app completely done up. Now, it doesn't mean that there's probably going to be some bugs here and there that need to be fixed from the app developers. So if you do happen to download this app and you have any issues with it, email tech support, let them know so then they can fix it. This app is a random location generator and this is why we love it so much. Now, there are a couple of different apps where you can find different cool locations and they all kind of work the same. But for our app, we wanted to do something pretty simple. Now, I want to show you the very first location that it brought us to. Actually, this is the second location. I did show this in a vlog that, you know, some of you probably seen on my other channel. I got my friend Mo Sarji. What's up, guys? And bro, where are we at today? This is so this cool. This is like reliving our, our memories from like four or five years ago, just being here. This makes me so happy just being here because we actually slept here the night. We did. You know, and we got to play on some fun go-karts while we had this entire place to ourselves. So much fun. Our first intention was adventure actually it was mo's idea and i'm going to show you how the app works in just a few minutes the first time that we generated our intention it tried to take us to a gated community a secured gated community not the one i live in somewhere else and it's funny because i tried at least maybe five other times and it kept bringing me to this gated community that I can't get into. So obviously there's something in this gated community that is adventurous. So I went ahead and drove a little bit up the road and then generated a brand new location. And it brought us here to a place that Mo and I have been to. Correction, it didn't bring us exactly here, but it was nearby. Anytime you use these random app generators, you never want to go by the actual marked location. Look around, okay, at least a hundred yards. That's the good rule of thumb that I throw out there. Hundred yard radius, look around and see if your intention exists there. That's what we did. And look where we're at. When we came here last time, it was not called this. And check it out, it's actually called Adventure. This is so cool. In case you didn't see that video, Mo and I got permission from the owners. A really nice guy by the name of Bobby. Um, I was talking to him on his security camera a second ago, so he knows we're here. We thought that there was somebody standing over there a second ago. Is it somebody? So we got a little curious, and of course we got closer, and it is a statue of a bear, a polar bear. I don't think this was here last time, where you can mine for really cool stones, like you know gold and silver, but we're going to probably come back here at some point. I'm gonna ask Bobby again and see if he'll let us come and spend the night here at Adventure Coast Fun Park. It used to be called Springleton Fun Park. So when you watch that video, which Mo and I had a blast. We were like little 12 year old kids. Bro, we had so much fun that night. Man, that, just looking at the ghost park track over there. Oh. Yeah? You can't explain the feeling. No. Yeah, see, we spent the night over there, and it was like a, a bounce house, an inflatable bounce house. And then we got chased in the morning here's by his I, employees. Here's what I proposed. What? If we come back here and do an overnight challenge part two, uh -huh. we're going to have another race. Do you remember who won the last race with the go-karts? I did. I think it was me. <laughs> Pretty sure it was me. We're going to have another race, but we're going to do it blindfolded. Blindfolded? Blindfolded. Nah, bro. Oh, yeah. Blindfolded. A blindfolded. Nah. Somebody coming? Uh oh. Is that somebody coming? No. No, the gates are closed. He knows he knows we're here. I was talking to him. Oh he knows? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. okay, so I quickly wanted to show you how this app works. This is what it looks like. It's called intentions, but you have to make sure you spell it with a Z at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it and <laughs> It's pretty cool. Okay, so there's some ground rules, and it's with any random location generator, okay? You don't wanna get lost. You don't wanna trespass. Don't put yourself in dangerous situations. I mean, we're kinda guilty of that, <laughs> but don't do it, okay? Don't put others in dangerous situations. Don't break any local laws. Use responsibility. 
And like I said in my vlog, use common sense, okay? So we're gonna accept that. And it's gonna ask you every time you open up the intentions app. Now, some of you may not know this. It's very, very simple to use, okay? It has three things. Your intention is pretty much based off of what you want to find, what you want to explore. Like I said, don't pay attention to the exact marked location. Look around, explore, have your eyes open. That's what this is all about, exploring, getting you out of the house, doing some free stuff. Living a little. Living a little, exactly. So it has these cool little themes. Now, right when you pull up intentions, it's gonna have that theme. And then, you know, of course it has that. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. So some of you that have downloaded this app before probably didn't know that you can change these themes and we're gonna do different intentions based off those themes. What is that like a planchet? It looks like a Ouija board planchet, yeah. We should try to use that one. You wanna use this one next? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. There's a pentagram on there too. Oh, so we're gonna do something between five miles and let's say seven miles. We're gonna go ahead and click intention. Speak your intention out loud. What should it be? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Can we, can we, do we both have to do the same intention? Yes. Okay. We gotta be in an agreement. All right, let's agree to witchcraft then. Witchcraft. Not that we condone witchcraft, we just wanna see if maybe there's something witchcraft witchcrafty. All right. <laughs> witchcrafty. <laughs> I like that one. You know, right, like, witchcraft, like witchcraft something works. creepy. So tap when done. All right, let's go ahead and tap that. And we're gonna generate. Let's uh, go back. Actually, let's go back to our, that's that's our planchet right there. Let's do something a little closer, zero to five miles. We're gonna hit generate and you get this. That's pretty cool right there. It's generating our attention. You see how creepy that looks? It's like the eye that's just watching you. So it's getting ready. Big shout out to Chris and Keith for developing this awesome app. They're the creators of the app that I use a lot, the Spirit Box. Mo has used this app before too. I use a couple of their apps, but this one is gonna be probably my new favorite. So let's go ahead and hit explore and it's gonna take us to the location. So this is where we're at right here. Uh, we got a 13 minute drive, fastest route. So, all right, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go explore. 13 minutes, let's do it. 13 minutes, should be fun. So we're getting really close. Why are these locations always so dark and scary? Because we choose to do it at night. <laughs> what was our intention, witchcraft? Witchcraft. Look at that weird blinking. Oh. What does it say? It says free paw. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull in there. Back roads for free pool. Bro, tell me that's not freaking suspect. I'm serious. That's what that says. Go through these back roads over here for a free pool. Wait, what? Let's, let's go closer so we can look. Okay, I feel like a dummy now. The name of this place is called Backroads Pub. I didn't see that part. Free pool. Free pool. <laughs> right, billiards. I was thinking in the back roads there's a free pool. This is not the exact location. We have to drive a little bit more. But I wanted to kind of scope out around it. And there is a post office here. There's also a couple of little shops over there. So let's explore. What if we come across like a ritual or something? Proceed to the route. Happening. That'd be awesome. Not gonna lie. Turn right. Imagine Let's we come right. up on like a witchcraft store. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no witchcraft store. Are those store. legal to have? Um, They are legal. 100% mm -hmm. legal. Freedom of religion. So this is just a, a cheesesteak restaurant. And then here's the pub. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> With the free pool. Maybe they do witchcraft in the pub. Maybe. And then there's some pet grooming. And a denture lab. Proceed to the room. Okay, I am. The destination is on your left. In the woods. All right. All right. Let's. You know what? Let's pull in here. For sale. Oh shoot! I'm stuck. No. We wanted an adventure. <laughs> no, it was supposed to be witchcraft, not adventure. <laughs> okay. Thank God that I have four wheel drive. Alright, so I guess we're going off-roading now. I guess so. Oh, look. 
There's like a basket over here. Where? Up ahead? What is that? I don't know. Oh, there's a fire hydrant. Fire hydrant out here? In the forest. So are we on a road or are we on someone's property? I don't, you know what, I don't want to find out. I don't want to get shot. Yeah, let me back up. Bro, what is that? What? I seen something moving off to the left here. Oh! What the f was that? What was that? Hello? Maybe it was an animal. No, that did not sound like an animal, dude. That sounded terrifying. Dude, back out, back out of here right now. All right, no, back out of here right now. That sounded like demonic, man. That sounded yeah. scary. I thought I saw something in our rear view. And it was right around that time you heard well, something. Why are you going back in, dude? I'm going to turn around. Just back it up. The noise that I heard came from that okay, way. From I want drive towards it. Maybe I want to see what it is. This is the pinpointed area. But we need to explore a little bit. Yo, if somebody comes out here with a gun right now or something, just say we were lost. That's all. We're yeah, we can. It's not. I don't think it's. Oh, oh what was what that? The f just kicked the back of your truck. Something just kicked the back of your truck. I felt it. Oh. Get us out of here, bro. Get us out of here, right? No, no, no. What horse? Dude, what the? F hit the back of my truck. I thought we hit a damn horse. There's no new scratches or anything. That was like violent. Oh, let me turn the light on. It came from the back. Yeah, it was definitely from the back. Like, it's like some. I don't see nothing. Maybe I just ran over something really big. No, it felt like it literally felt like it, something shoved us from the back. Huh? But nothing metallic. It felt like something. I don't know. And we so, heard a scream coming. from Something hit the back of my truck really hard. I'm not sure if maybe, I don't know. I'm, you know what I think it may may have been, just a really big bird or something that like hit the. Maybe an owl. You think that was? I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're still on the hunt. This is where we were at right here. Now we're in. It's kind of behind a, an industrial like area, but it backs up to the woods that our pinpointed marker was at. I don't know, I'm gonna scope the area a little bit more and see if, most seems to think that that was our, our witchcraft. But like, it makes sense, right? We were asking for witchcraft, we uh -huh. show up to this random location, we hear a scream in the bush, and then something nudges the truck from the back. And we heard that. I don't know if it was a, I, I don't know. I don't know if that was a, a human, or maybe some kind of animal that screamed. I don't think that was an animal. I think it was a? No, that came from my window, like I heard that. And you can see this is what? Up above you. What? No, 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 no. Look. In Where? Here, inside your truck. Look, 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 look. Up on your... Oh, that's a freaking deer fly. Yeah. Thought it was a bee yeah, at first. that thing. Those things bite hard. No, wait, wait, wait. No, that's a bee, bro. That's a bee? Yeah, that's a bee. Dude, I've never had a bee just come up in my car like that. I think it's not moving because of our lights. We're kind of blinding it, which is good right now. It's stunned. Okay. I hope you're not allergic to bees. Nah. I've been stung before. Oh, okay. I got him. I got him. Okay, press the bottle and then release so the suction will suck it in. You're in my so mind, smart. In my mind, that worked. <laughs> it oh, didn't work. So we gotta pick off okay. Right yeah, he's kind of mad now. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay, he's in the bottle. He's in the okay. bottle. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, go out. Fly, fly. I feel bad. I don't usually... I'm going to wait for him to come out. All right, come on, go out, go out. Ah! Oh, okay, we gotta go. Hold on, let me grab this bottle. I don't like littering. Don't sting me, don't sting me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, we're good? I think so. We Roll the windows up. <laughs> we, we retrieved the bottle, guys. I think that bee just wanted some of this air conditioning or some type of witchcraft brought it in here. You know what's crazy, dude? My fiance, Tiffany, highly, extremely allergic to bees. Really? 
and she drives this truck a lot especially for work and stuff when she when she cleans what if that bee would have been in here when she went to work tomorrow man that would have been really bad i've never met anyone that's allergic to bees to be honest yeah to like be, to be honest. she got stung one time and it like instant like swelling bad like, i wouldn't know what that's like to be honest i'm not allergic to anything are you guys allergic to bees let me know in the comments below are you allergic to anything um i think at one time i was allergic to believe it or not aspirin well out of all things yeah but but, uh, but again, i'm not anymore drug, right it's a drug so i mean well not that i'm allergic to it but it i, I had an ulcer when i was 11 years old oh. after taking it so i'm not really a, an allergy i am allergic to pollen like crazy what's the matter did you not feel that nah it felt like there was something in the back with us right now. Like actually, like that's why I turned around like that. There's somebody back here. Something that followed us home. What if that noise we heard was something like invisible force, like trying to get in and it got in. Which is the witchcraft, which is what I'm saying. Like a curse. And it left that bee behind. So, Interesting. I don't know, this is weird. Make sure you subscribe to Mo Sarji, okay? Because we're gonna do an intention just for his channel right now. And then we're gonna get back into another awesome intention. Probably the scariest one yet is gonna be at the end of this video. Yo, I don't I know, know what it is yet. I don't know if it's the light playing tricks on my eyes, but I've just seen like a black figure transform into those bushes right there. Let's like, get a closer like, look. Like actually in the bushes. Like, like, yeah, let's actually get closer. I just changed the battery out. Mo said that he saw something. Uh, yeah, it was like down there. And it looked like it was a black figure and it just kind of transformed into the bushes. Could have been just the lights playing tricks on my eyes. Sasquatch. <laughs> Imagine that. Do you believe in the Sasquatch? Absolutely. Yeah, I believe in Bigfoot because I've actually caught him on camera before. Yep. Look at that. Nothing, huh? Maybe it was a bear. It could be. There's bears in this area. Yeah, black bear. Um, I hear like something moving in the woods. All right, fam, you're not gonna wanna miss what this intention was. I cannot believe we just found this. Now, wow. we used the color. I picked the color, but he, he focused on his color, which is crazy because his color was like the primary color. And when I blurted out my color, there's little hints of my color in what we just found. So go check out Mo Sarji's video. This is amazing. <laughs> You're not gonna want to miss what we came across. This is I, I'm. I can't believe it though. Like it's so like this intention is so accurate. The fact that it actually brought us all the way here. And this was the marked location. Yeah, exactly. We would we would have never. Th this Th is this was dead on. He thought like he thought it was something else back there, but uh -huh. it wasn't. This was where the location is. That doesn't always happen, but it it actually this was the marked exact marked location, which well actually was a, the parking lot right here. But I mean it's this is dead on. Like I I can't believe this that we came across is anyways that's awesome go check out his video so you can see what i'm talking about all right fam so we're gonna get into the next intention this one we're gonna be doing just just us mo's not gonna be filming this i'm gonna do about maybe three miles away this one's kind of cool the the gold it's kind of like a sad thing sad it's kind of sad that it one. is a little i mean the music's a little good. i'm thinking maybe finding a a missing pet would be my intention missing pet or a missing person something missing let's, like let's let's go all in bro full send missing person a missing person maybe we can yeah missing person okay missing person but i'm open to it being uh maybe someone's belongings maybe even finding a wallet that we can return to someone but a missing person would be our ultimate goal speak your intention out loud missing person missing person that's what we want or something missing let's find a missing person that's valuable to someone yeah or a missing pet. You're valuable. What to was me. that? What? I don't know. I heard like a hiss or some shit. All right. Focus on your intention. Okay. Tap when done. I love the simplicity to this app. One thing that uh, we'll probably have to fix when you go under a certain theme, it should probably stay at that theme. So it, you know, this is in its infancy, but it, it went to the standard default theme. It's kind of creepy or whatever. I'm going to go back to the the gold theme. All right, just got my location. That's not even that far away. Yeah, we're about 10 minutes away. So Beautiful. let's get going. We're on kind of like a service road. 
It started out a little sketchy, but. Oh, what's this? What's wrong with that guy? There's a guy up here. He's got like a bag. Yeah. Oh, he waves. He waved to us. I think, I think, I think he's a cook or something. Right, that's not our missing person. No. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, we still got a little while. I, what are we looking for exactly? A missing person. It shows we're pretty much here. Um, the marked location is right. Man, this sucks, bro. It's like on private property. So you gotta be oh. careful. Oh. What? Oh, look at this. What? In loving memory of David. Miss you? No, I mean it's no that that is the marked location. That's the marked location right there. In loving memory of David. I'm sorry, David. Rest in peace, buddy. How the heck did I know that? Though? Oh, look, there's a guy sitting there at the floor. Is there? Yeah. No. Yeah, look. Oh, there's a person sitting. Somebody's sleeping out there. Well. You okay? What if they're missing? I don't want to spook them out. They'll attack us or something. I mean, no, but like, they, they look like they're sleeping. I don't want to disturb them, you know? Well, I mean, what if they lost their way? What if they need help? I've never had this happen before. We have two possibilities. The first one was this portrait of a, a man named David that it said, we miss you in loving memory. Obviously, he, he passed, away. passed away, may you keep his family in your prayers. What are the other and, that, Yeah, not far from there, as I was turning around, we ran into some body that is uh, sleeping on the ground over here. Ask them if they're okay. I think they're sleeping, dude. Yeah, I don't want to bother think, them. I don't think they want But what if they really are missing? What if it's like a child? I, I couldn't tell if it was like an old person. I think what it brought us to was that, that picture of that yeah. guy. Because that was dead on where that pin was. I want to get a closer shot of that picture. Man, what if this guy's missing? In loving memory of David. We love and miss you, David. This was the exact pinpointed area, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't always have to be the exact but like, area. What, like, how did it know? That's what I want to know. It didn't know. We manifested it to happen and with just, our intention. But like, that makes perfect sense. We're saying missing person. That person's missing to, to, for someone. Someone's missing him, you know what I mean? That could have been your intention right there, dude. Maybe it was. That's. I mean, I, it's pretty cool. I believe it was. You guys let us know in the comments below what you think. You don't always have to play the intentions game at night too, okay? It's definitely just as fun during the day. In my opinion, I feel like it's a little bit more of a scary adventure at nighttime, but I think you may be able to find more because you're looking a little bit more and it's bright. If you have more light, you'll be able to find things easier. So I think some of the places that we went to today that were duds, there probably was something in those woods. You know what? I'm going to use the standard default intention. God, this music is terrifying. Let's do something yummy. Something yummy. <laughs> yummy, yeah. Something like really yummy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. We're surrounded by restaurants, so that's going to be kind of easy. Mm, but it has to be yummy. We'll know what we'll know what it is when we, if it if it takes us to somewhere actually yummy. You know what I mean? Like if it's legitimately yummy. Yummy? Yeah. Somewhere yummy that is open. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Somewhere okay. yummy that's. It open. doesn't make sense, but hey, maybe <laughs> it will. So all right, intention. So maybe a restaurant. It's because there's nothing open right now. Yeah, everything's nothing. closed right now. So it's something 12, yummy 12 right now. It's open. Something yummy that's open. It has to be yummy. It has to be open. Open, yummy, yummy, open, open, yummy, yummy, open. Yum, 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 yum. All right, let's do this. Focus on your intention. Tap one done. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and generate. It's so, like, captivating and scary. Come on, intentions, give us something yummy. We want yummy. Hey, if it's actually really yummy, whatever it takes us to, I'm, mm. I'm eating. <laughs> okay. Th this was just my plan to get you to take me to a restaurant. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, it's midnight yeah, I know, already. It's midnight, it's midnight. We're playing intentions at midnight. All right. Let's get it. We're about 10 minutes away. All right, y'all. See? Starbucks closed. Applebee's closed. Everything's closed. 
So, uh, even freaking Dunkin' Donuts. Popeyes doesn't even have his lights on. Baskin Robbins. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna find. It's, you know what? Uh, Steak and Shake is open, but yeah, we're really far away from our intention right now. Steak and Shake is yummy. <laughs> But it's not giving us that, is it? No. We're, uh. we're way up there, like another 10 minutes. Our fam, so we're getting really close. I know this area, though, and there is, there is no, there's no restaurants over here. It doesn't look like there's uh, anything out here. Look at it. It's just empty. This may be a dud. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. What destination? Here? That's what, that's what it shows. What is that? There's nothing there. Just a house. Lollipops? Lollipops? What is that? Uh, it's not what you're thinking. It's not lollipops. Oh, there's so many people there. Wait, what is it? What's a lollipop? Turn the lights off. People are gonna think we're trying to expose them and we're spying on them. Oh, that wait. is a strip club, bro. Oh, no way. That is a strip club. Wait, we asked for something yummy. <laughs> no. Yummy. No. And open. No, and it's, it's open. Yo, yummy and it's open. <laughs> Wait, all right, hold on. <laughs> no. And it's called lollipops. <gasps> Bro, look at that. That looks evil as shit. Like right behind here. What is, look at that. It's like a skull with a, like a, a gun and a like knife. A gang store or something. Hey, so let's just focus on this lollipop thing. So I came, like I literally thought it was something like yummy, like a candy store <laughs> or something. But it's not a candy store. It's a, well, I mean, it's a grown up candy store. <laughs> kind of. I'll take it to the candy. You want to go inside? Hell no. What do you mean? We'll just go there and we'll say we're YouTubers and we're filming a video and it brought us here. Dang. Bro, be careful like showing the camera because these guys are probably going to think we're like trying to expose them to their Hey, wife. what are you guys doing here? Shouldn't you be home with your <laughs> wife? <laughs> Benjamin, back home now. Bro, what are you doing? Dude, as if it just took us here. <laughs> Dude, they have adult... Booths. Hey, look! That actually was the location. Look, it, it was it was yeah. the actual location. Yeah. yeah. So somehow, uh, intentions known that a strip club is yummy. No, they don't know that. <laughs> well, they I mean, don't know that. our dirty that minds, was... our dirty minds think it's yummy. Bro, I guess. this was a dud. Okay, that was not. That, that is we not were, a dud. That I was a... thinking food. I was thinking food too. Something yummy. Hey, you said that if we go in there, you wanted to eat it. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat something in there. Uh, whatever they're offering, I'll take it. Some pretzels. <laughs> yeah, pretzels. <laughs> you know, it's actually illegal to film in there. Oh, yeah. In strip clubs. It's actually a, a law. You it's illegal know. if they find out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're, we're not going to a strip club, y'all. Not on camera, were, at least. Well, I know you were getting excited about this video. We should do the next one together. All right, let's do it together. On that creepy snake one. But, like, we could go back to lollipops for educational purposes, you know, like... You know, okay. in school they teach kids this stuff, For right? professional purposes. Yeah, and scientific reasons. Like, I really want to study the, uh, the human anatomy. S scientific research. <laughs> lollipops. Oh, yeah. we're so bad. Hey, I mean, lollipops are yummy. I mean, I like the real lollipops, but... That's um, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's 12.30 almost right now, and Omar's uh, getting into that mood. Yummy and open. There's nothing open. That's probably the only thing that is going to be open. Wait, there's going to be something open time. on the stage in there. <laughs> <laughs> something that you want to eat. <laughs> Bro, you know what? I did go there one time. Really? Not inside. I went dumpster diving in there, dumpster like, oh. like five years ago. And you know what I found? AIDS? No, uh, close. <laughs> I found like hair extensions oh. and like uh, stripper shoes and stuff it was it was actually funny I thought it'd be funny to to go because they have an adult novelty shop next door oh okay and I was like you know what let's go dumpster diving at adult stores see if they like throw away like Some there was one up the street where they did throw away like brand new stuff they were probably store returns because they probably gave the people back their money yeah and then but they can't put it back on the shelf nah, like you know use merchandise yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man Hey, so I'm gonna pull over. We're gonna get our next intention. We need to do a couple. I mean, until we find something really amazing, like something we haven't, I feel like we haven't found anything really cool yet. Okay, so what Mo found, he actually did two intentions. They were cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a little jelly over it. Like that's, like your video's way better than mine right now. Bro, I, I don't know. Lo lollipop, lollipop, come on, man. That was pretty funny. Lollipop, like, that would be cool. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of tired. 
Dude, right? it's it's late. Let's we, just do this one last one. We're gonna do one more. We gotta be up early in the morning too for a video. We're going somewhere really cool tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. You know what? When you guys use the intention app, let me know if the themes have anything to do with your intentions and you know if it changes things at all. Like maybe try the same intentions with different themes. Yeah, good point. I was actually gonna bring that up too. Like, mm -hmm. what if that theme doesn't give you what you were gonna get if you tried a different theme? You know what I mean? That's the default theme. So. We're gonna do that creepy snake one. Not only are we doing that, but a red car just passes us. Like what? <laughs> and it's all red. That's that was a three thousand GT. Remember we were talking about three thousand yeah, GTs. Yeah, seen it earlier. All right. Intention is something mysterious, maybe even evil. Should we say mysterious or just mystery? A mystery. Mystery. Something mystery. Speak your intention out loud. Mystery. mystery. We want a mystery, and we want it now. Focus on your intention. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Something really mysterious. Something just that you can't understand. I don't know. Nothing confusing, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't understand, but nothing confusing. Just something that's unexplainable. All right, let's go ahead and... Do this about three miles away. I think I'm getting kind of lucky with the three mile thing. You Even should try six mile. Six miles? Yeah, like six, six, six miles. Oh, snap. Maybe that will give us something crazier for a mystery. Okay, generate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's the crazy eye. We need to experiment with all those different themes. I think that's pretty cool. And guys, check this out. It's okay if you go somewhere that doesn't make any sense where it may be nothing at all, just move on, go to the next one. That's why it's better to have it a, a small radius. That way you're not driving a whole lot of places, but this is fun. Grab a couple of your friends, get out there and get some intentions going. Grab some coffee too. Explore. So let's go ahead and go to our location here. I went to the 10 mile radius. So we have 13 minutes. It's about 9.7 miles. All right fam, so we're on like a dirt road right now in the middle of the woods i'm not really liking this a whole lot okay we're not on a dirt road anymore but we're still in the woods it's a forest hell no it's a forest bro arrived uh arrived to where here all right let me show you what i'm looking at nothing <laughs> there's some trash over here Um, I'm thinking, thinking we're looking at it. Oh, look at this! What I found. Um, and La Santa Memoria de Jason M. Bro, how is it in the same night? Uh, in loving memory of somebody. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Rest in peace, buddy. Wow. Man, this guy wasn't that old. But is this what you're doing for? Um. There is a trail here. Yeah, it looks like a trail or like an overgrown driveway. You want to lead the way? Uh, I don't know. Are you <laughs> sure it's safe? It looks kind of creepy. Hopefully we don't step on a snake or something. I don't know, with the whole Intentions app, we're coming across, I guess with the whole ley line technology, I guess this is turning into forces, right? we're coming across like pinpointed locations, like the exact pinpoint location is showing us stuff now. There was a, uh, what was that? I don't know. There's something whistling at us. There's a path to go that way. And... This is, this, way too. this is where the pin location. Let's go this way. There are rattlesnakes. What? What? What is that back there? What? All the way there. In the 
middle of the field. Oh, there is something over there. Let's go look. Bro, those are stairs. Those are freaking stairs. Bro, stairs out in the middle of the freaking woods. Good question. Good question. And notice how foggy it is over here? Yeah, it got just out of nowhere. It got really foggy. Hey, look, Ma. It's a spider web. I don't know where the spider went. It's got to be here somewhere. Huh! Freaking spider. This is the exact location. I mean, in this general area right here. So we're looking at a set of stairs just kind of randomly in the woods. And there's something over there whistling at us. Um, I think this is the mystery because we're asking why is there a set of stairs in the woods? Yeah, like it's mysterious. Why is there a set of stairs in the woods? And stairs that go to nowhere. Freaking and spoiders! Dude, it's so overgrown. Oh, <laughs> I'm not deleting that. All right, so there's a side of me that wants to walk up those stairs. Uh, but what if, what if it like falls or breaks or something? What if it's? I mean, to me, it looks like it's been standing here for a while. I don't think it's gonna break. Yeah, it looks old. Bro, this thing weighs like a thousand pounds. Yeah. How the hell could it be? I have no idea. That's probably the mystery part of it. Mo Sarji and I just talked things over and we're gonna come back here. I'm thinking somebody maybe is storing them here. I mean, I, I don't know. I just find it weird. Those stairs are really heavy and they're just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Make sure to go follow Mo Sarji. I'm going to leave links down below to both of his channels. They are awesome. He's posting just about every single day. There was a point when we used the Intentions app just for his channel. So be sure to check it out for some exclusive footage. We have two completely different videos with the exception of a couple different things here and there. But if you want to get a different vantage point and also see what I was talking about, he had something really cool that was in his video. You're not going to want to miss that. If you've used the app Intentions before, let me know some of your stories, some of your intentions, some of your exploration, and where the app maybe brought you to. I am going to be sharing those stories on the Intention Instagram as well as Twitter. There's also links down below to the App Store and Google Play Store to download your very own copy of Intentions. It does help me out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're subscribed for the very first time, hit that notification bell. Please, please, please please before you leave this video smash that like button it really helps me out it tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job as a video creator and if you're subscribed to my channel and you don't have notifications on that does help too that way you don't miss really cool uploads like going at the top of the mysterious stairs at 3 a.m. I don't know gotta go for now before you leave give me a kiss